WWF Monday Night Raw or Alone Day Night Raw. I am Gorilla Monsoon here with Trini Kwan and with Corey Graves. And today on Monday Night Raw or Alone Day Night Raw, it's going to be the 20. It's going to be the 25 year day that John Cena came to WWE. But also around the time that John Cena has been in the TWF. So we're going to see John Cena today, Grill Monsoon says. You know, John Cena, a lot of folks love him. A lot of folks hate him, Trini Kwan said. But I think over the years, I think John Cena has gotten the onlook from many folks, Trini Kwan said. <clears throat> they call him Big Match John, and there's a grounds to why they call him that, Corey Graves said. Because John Cena always is always putting on big matches, always in big matches. And he has he gotten the on look from a lot of folks that in the early days he didn't get. Ah, uh, Corey Graves said, but I'd like to know what's he going to do since he hasn't been here in a long time. Hey everyone, it's me, John Cena. And it's been some time since I've been in the TWF. I mean, I'm a part-time, I'm a half-timer now in WWE and the TWF, but man, did I do a lot of stuff. I mean, man, I was a free-time TWF heavyweight fighter. Hell, I think I may have even been a world heavyweight fighter once. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff. And most of the time when I was in the TWF, the early days when I was in the TWF, I had hangs up with everyone you could think of. But all the things I could recall doing and my hang up with Diva Talks tended to be, you know, it tended to be the, uh, it tended to be something that I was truly on look for. Now, I know that over the long years that I have been a wrestler and a show player, I haven't always gotten the on look. Yes, I came to WWE in 2002 YL. Had some dark matches. Had my first match on June 27th, 2002 YL. And the first match I had was with Kurt Angle. But I know I didn't get on look. No. Even after I became a four between time WWE heavyweight fighter. And I became a three-time world heavyweight fighter. After I became a five-time WWE Wanda Reich fighter. Hell, after I became, hell, after I became a two-time WWE team fighter with Dave Batista and Shawn Michaels. Became a two-time WWE Raw team fighter with David Otunga and The Miz. I still didn't get on look. Even after I was a former OVW heavyweight fighter. A former U UPW heavyweight fighter, I didn't really get the on look. It was years later, after I became a half-timer, I started to get the on look that I once had. And it's true, in the early days, I didn't get the on look. Yes, I may have been in a ring with many great wrestlers like The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels and The Rock and, you know, and Edge and Hunter Hearst Helmsley and Randy Orton, and David Batista, and Bobby Lashley, and Rob Van Dam. You name them all, I've been in the ring with them. Kang? Yeah, a long list. I was in the ring with these and folks like, you know, Umaga, and the Great Khali, and Big Show. I was in the ring with Sabu. I mean, I was in the ring with a lot of folks, believe it or not. Some of them skilled, some of them not so skilled. But at the end of the day, uh, I was in the ring with, you know, Daniel Bryan and CM Punk and Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle. I mean, it goes on and on, the folks I was in the ring with. And I was in the ring with Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Uh, I was in the ring with a lot of folks. John Bradshaw Lakefield. But, you see, after all those years of being in the ring with some of the greatest on looked wrestlers wrestling against them teaming up with them at the end of the day I didn't really so much get that on look that I 
that I thought I was get. Yeah, I didn't get the on look right away. Even being in the ring with folks like Booker T and Carlito Caribbean Cole, I didn't get the on look. And after, you know, I had my runs in, you know, with, uh, you know, and Alexander Rusev, and it goes on and on and on. I didn't always get the on look that I thought I, uh, that I, thought I needed. Yeah, and I went from Raw to SmackDown, Raw to SmackDown, Raw to SmackDown. And then I, then I had my last round of matches with, like, you know, AJ Styles. And then, then Roman Reigns. And everyone said, John, we on-look you now. John, we give you the on-look. And I say thank you to everyone who has given me the onlook over my long years, my 20 long years of fast, you know, onlook and trust with, you know, with, you know, fast and trust and onlook and never give up because I know folks used to scave me for those words back in the day. You know, I used to have wrestle, I used to have folks on YouTube by the name of Bruce Blitz freaking, you know, getting all irked and mad and angry and wretched over every single thing I did. And half of the time I had, and yeah, I was in the ring with Chris Jericho and Christian Cage. Don't forget that. Alright, so I tell you right now, and how I even somehow made it to be in the ring with these and folks like I even had a match with Vince McMahon I had a match with Eric Bischoff can you believe that and after all those years I got the on look and if you think it's done it ain't done you know so thank you everyone for showing me the on look ow fuck and I know that I didn't win I didn't I know I didn't win as many winnings in the TWF as I did in WWE and I know that I might still not be everyone's beloved wrestler. And I know if Bruce Blitz was still around, he would be getting all irked and mad and angry and wretched right now. And he would say, John Cena, he's way blowing time. John Cena, he's taking the show away from the other younger wrestlers. Then Grits would come on and say, yes, well, Blitz, John Cena's fucking everyone over. He's besmudging everything. I hate him. Yeah, whatever. But at the end of the day, I just want to say thank you. And I got to be going. John, you forgot that you were also in the ring with folks like The Undertaker. And folks like Bray Wyatt. Which, John... Isn't it true that your last matches you had in WWE, you kind of lost? I mean, let's look at it, John. I mean, yes, when you were in the ring with The Undertaker, the last time you lost. Um, when you had your last match with Bray Wyatt, which was a weird match in itself, you lost. The last time you were in the ring with Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns beat you. And the first time you wrestled The Rock, The Rock beat you. Hell, you lost every time you fought CM Punk. Daniel Bryan beat you. You lost every time you fought Brock Lesnar. So let me tell you something, John Cena. I don't onlook you, Hope says. You know why? Because for some ground, sake and why, you somehow were on top way longer than every other wrestler who was ever in WWE. I mean, everyone likes to talk about Bruno San Artino and Bob Backlund being on the top for some time. Folks like to talk about Hulk Hogan and Lex Luger and Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels and Steve Austin and The Rock being on top for some time. Hell, they even kind of talk about Hunter Helmsley kind of being on top for a little bit. But somehow, John, you somehow became on top way longer than all of them. It was only after you left and became a half. It was after you somehow, some way, John Cena, 
Daniel Bryan was on top a little bit. And then somehow, some way, that would have offshooted to being AJ Styles being on top after that. And it went to Roman Reigns. But sadly, John Cena, you were on top of way longer than everyone else I just said. Well, Hope, first off, I had no run or leading over the booking or the writing of any of the shows that I was on. And I've been in WWE for 20 years, on and off. And I had no run and lead over how many times I won, how many times I lost, who I wrestled, and all that other stuff. Well, if that's true, John Cena, which I don't really believe, how about me and you have a match here today, on your 20th year day in WWE, here today on Monday Night Raw, or Lonely Night Raw in the TWF. And I'd say, I'd go for it, John Cena says. But oh, you're you're gonna you're gonna lose. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. You might be, you might be, you might have witchcraft or spellcraft or some unearthly or some ghostly might, we'll say, but it's going to take more than that to beat me. All right, John Cena, good to see you again after all those years, my old friend. I haven't seen you, John Cena, uh, since August of last year when you took that loss to Roman, when you lost, lose to Roman Reigns. But here today, Astronomer says, we're going to see John Cena fight Hope here today on Monday Night Raw or a Lone Day Night Raw. Annie Klipdor says that match, that fight will be great. That's what I say, John Cena fights Hope. And you want to, says he Klipdor, and you know what Astronomer says, John Cena fights Hope and this match, this fight goes now. You need to get the fight lord in the ring. Well, it looks like we're going to get that match. Gorilla Monsoon says, we're going to get Hope fighting John Cena. And I can't believe Hope came out and scathed John Cena and slighted John Cena like that. Trini Kwan said, guilted, guilted him and shamed at him for everything that happened in his 20 years in WWE and saying it was all his doing. Well, in a way it kind of was, Corey Graves says. John Cena did have some oversight in his matches that he had with wrestlers over 20 years. Hope's coming up. Uh-oh. John Cena got her. And the, we call the attitude, what we call, the, we call the stand shifting. Formerly the FU, Gorilla Monsoon says. John Cena saying, you can't see me. Five knuckle shuffle. Gorilla Monsoon said, Look who's talking, Corey Graves says. John Cena's already burying Hope. After she slighted him and scathed him, now he's going to bury her. Oh, this is sad. One, two, three. See, Corey Graves said, John Cena's done it again. He's just buried another wrestler. He just buried another fighter. Because he can't handle being scathed and slighted. Would you stop? Girl Monsoon said, Would you be earnest saying that John Cena buried Hope because he can't handle being scathed and slighted? Girl Monsoon says, That is sad, Corey Graves. If you say that, Girl Monsoon says. Well, at the end of the day, what can you call it? Corey Graves says, What I just saw was John Cena beat Hope. That looks like burying and besmirching to me, Corey Graves said. Trini Kwan said, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know burying and besmirching if it bit you on the booty. Trini Kwan says, Corey Graves. Well, I know one thing, Renee Young now is going to be talking with Hope after her match with John Cena here. All right, Hope, you came out, oh yeah, girl, Monsoon, I'm going to be talking with Hope now. You came out, Hope. You scathed and slighted John Cena. You guilted and shamed at him for things that happened for 20 years in WWE. And now you just lost your match. Oh yeah, Renee Young. John Cena buried me. 
he besmirched me. Cause all I slighted him and scathed him for all the shit he did in all his 20 years in being in WWE. And since John Cena can't handle being scathed or slighted in any way, John Cena handicapped me, buried me, and besmirched me. Hope you don't look like you were handicapped. It didn't look like you got buried or besmirched in any way that I, that I can think of. Hope, why don't you just say John Cena had the upside on you? With I, you know what? I do have demon. I do got fiendship. Unearthly or all ghostly might as he called it. This is not over, John Cena. I'm going to wrestle you again. I'm going to fight you again. And when I do, I'm going to beat you. Well, it looks like Hope is still wanting to fight John Cena again. Back to you, Gorilla Monsoon. Well, thank you, Renee Young, for talking with Hope here today on Monday Night Raw or Alone Day Night Raw. It looks like it is all the time we got here for Monday Night Raw or Alone Day Night Raw. I am Gorilla Monsoon for Trini Kwan and Corey Graves. We hope you like Monday Night Raw or Alone Day Night Raw, and we'll see you tomorrow for NXT 2.0.